Hello, this is Alejandro with GSC, and today we're going to take a look at how to remove that annoying filter icon from your cursor. So for many users, a common occurrence that happens when they're making changes to their model is that all of a sudden, they cannot select what they want. Say you want to select an edge, for some reason it won't let me. Here you can clearly see that I cannot select any of my edges. You also notice that on my cursor, you're like, oh, wait a second, I have this little pink icon. Well, that is the filter icon, but how did I activate it? Because I never try to turn it on. This is very common, and typically it says accidentally turn on. So here I'm going to show you how to turn this off and why, essentially, sometimes you accidentally turn it on. So there's a couple ways of turning the filter icon off. The first one is if you actually go to your view pull down and go to toolbars, you're going to want to select the selection filter toolbar. And you can see this little toolbar appears on the bottom. And so in order to turn the filter icon off, you can either deselect. Currently, I have filter faces, so I'm only allowed to select face geometry. I can simply click it, and this will turn off. And now I can actually select edges, faces, vertices, or whatever I want to select. So for those who aren't aware, the filter toolbar or the filter commands allows you to only make specific types of selections. For, so for example, if I only want to select vertices, I can turn on the vertice icon. And this will not allow me to select any faces or edges. I'll only be able to select vertices. Uh, if I have the edges, filter edges uh, command on, that means I'll only be able to select edge geometry. I will not be able to select any, any faces, only edges. And you can have multiple filters on. Maybe I want to be able to select edges and vertices, so I can select vertices, edges, but I cannot select faces themselves. So typically this is used, for example, if you want to add a very complex fill in, you have to select multiple edges. You don't want to accidentally click a face and then you have to redo the whole selection. So that's when filter uh, filters can be very, 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 very useful. So by selecting the filters uh, by through the filter toolbar, you're able to uh, turn off any of the active filters. Another way you could also do so, if you have multiple filters on, you can also have this command on the toolbar called clear all filters, and that will remove any filters that are currently active. Another way of clearing your filters is through keyboard shortcuts. And this is actually one of the reasons you accidentally turn on your filters as well. So for example, if I clear all my filters, your X and your V key are commonly uh, are common keyboard shortcuts that sometimes you accidentally hit because they're very close to other keyboard uh, shortcut commands such as Shift, uh, Alt, Control, and Alt. So, for example, if I hit the X key, you can see here that it filters the faces. If I hit the V key, it filters any vertices. So, more than likely, you accidentally probably hit one of those buttons, and that's why you're selling the filter icon. So. There is actually a keyboard shortcut for clearing any active filters. So I'll turn a couple of the filters on. And if you actually hit the F6 key, it will actually clear or turn off any of your filters. Uh, another keyboard shortcut that's useful is the F5 key. That will turn off and on the filter toolbar. So the last way of potentially preventing accidentally activating any filters is to actually disable some of those keyboard shortcuts. So like I said before, the X and V key for shortcut uh, keys for filtering, uh, I believe it's faces and vertices, that is probably the one you're most likely accidentally hitting. So you can actually disable those uh, from being active. I can do this by right clicking on any of the tabs in my command manager, go to customize, select keyboard shortcuts, and here I can search for those filter commands. So if I just type in filter, 
Here you can see the keyboard shortcuts for edges, vertices, and faces. So I can go ahead and delete these. So that they are no longer active. Then I can simply hit OK. And now my keyboard shortcuts will not be accidentally triggered. So this has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching.